A jury has cleared a Fort Lauderdale police officer of battery. He was on trial for shoving a woman during a Black Lives Matter protest two years ago. Local 10 Sanella Sabovic was there when the verdict was reached tonight, and she joins us live. Sanella. Well, Nicole, at first, after deliberating for roughly about an hour or so, jurors came back and said that they unanimously cannot reach a verdict. The judge spoke to them, told them perhaps they need a little bit more time. She sent them back. They came back for a second time and unanimously delivered a not guilty verdict. The defendant is not guilty. A six member jury finding suspended Fort Lauderdale officer Stephen Pahorans not guilty of misdemeanor battery. Pahorans clearly relieved, kissing his wife when it was all said and done. While Pahorans did not have a comment outside of the courtroom, his lawyer spoke out following the verdict. And our view for a long time has been that video is kind of a, uh, an inaccurate narrative of the totality of the circumstances that were on here. This was a frightening situation. The charge was over this incident that happened back in 2020. He is seen shoving a woman on her knees at a Black Lives Matter protest. The day began with closing arguments. Prosecutors say Pahorance's actions were excessive and that the victim showed no imminent threat. She is on her knees with her hands in the air. There was no imminent use of unlawful force against Officer Pahorance. This is not a self-defense case. It just simply is not. The defense arguing Pahorans was attempting to maneuver through the crowd to get himself to safety and to help a fellow officer in her vehicle surrounded by protesters. There's no proof of any, there's been no evidence of any injury. There's been no evidence of any actual touch. The defense ultimately persuading their jurors. We're pleased with the verdict. It's been a long two and a half years for Mr. Pahorans and his wife. So what's next for Pahorans? Well, his attorney tells me that he has been suspended without pay for these past two and a half years. The goal is to get him fully reinstated and to retrieve that back pay. That's the latest here out of Fort Lauderdale. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.